organ and organ system earthworm have organ level of organization no this is false what is morphology study of form or externally visible features what is anatomy study of morphology of internal organs in the animals earthworm earthworm is dash colored it is reddish brown colored earthworms inhabit the upper or middle layer of the moist soil the upper layer of the moist soil earthworm fecal deposits are known as worm castings common indian earthworms are ferretima and lumbricus morphology diagram 1 represents body of earthworm identify the dorsal and ventral view from x and y label a to l so here x is the dorsal view where a is the prostomium b is clitellum c is metamers d is anus then y is the ventral view where e is cete f is female genital pore g is male genital pore h is transverse grooves or annuli i is anus j are the metamers k is genital papillae L is clitellum. Label A to E in diagram two, representing lateral view of earthworm, showing mouth opening. So here in diagram two, A is prostomium, B is peristomium, C is ring of setae, D is metamers, E is mouth opening. Metamers in earthworm are dash to dash in number, are hundred to one twenty in number. The ventral surface in earthworm is lined by a dark median mid dorsal line. No, this is false. It should be a dorsal surface. The ventral dorsal surface is distinguished by the presence of genital openings. So the ventral surface is distinguished by the presence of genital openings. That serves as a covering of the mouth. Prostomium. The anterior end of the earthworm consists of the mouth and the prostomium. That helps to open cracks in the soil into which the earthworm may crawl. Prostomium. The prostomium is sensory in function. Yes, this is true. The first body segment is called prostomium. No, this is false. The first body segment is called dash or dash. Peristomium or buccal segment. The first body segment of earthworm doesn't contain the mouth. No, this is false. Segments dash to dash are covered by a prominent dark or light band of glandular tissue called clitellum. Segments fourteen to sixteen are covered by a prominent dark band of glandular tissue called the clitellum the body is divisible into three prominent regions called periclitoral clitoral and postclitoral segments the spermathecal apertures are situated on the dorsal lateral or ventrolateral sides of the intersegmented grooves so spermathecal apertures are situated on the ventrolateral sides how many spermathecal apertures are present in the earthworm so eight spermathecal apertures are present a pair of female genital pores are present in earthworm yes this is true the female genital pore is present in the mid ventral line of dash segment or 14th segment numerous minute pores called dash open on the surface of the body nephridio pores except the dash 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 segments there are rows of s shaped setae present in each body segment except the first last and clitellum segments there are rows of s shaped setae present in each se- each body segment principal function of setae is locomotion seta can be extended or retracted two if a live earthworm is pricked with a needle on its outer surface without damaging the gut the fluid that will come out will be silicic fluid anatomy the body wall of earthworm is covered by a thin or thick cellular or non cellular cuticle the body wall of earthworm is covered by thin non cellular cuticle the innermost layer in the body wall of earthworm is called silicic epithelium Tell the layers in the body wall of the earthworm: epidermis, two muscle layers, circular and longitudinal, and an innermost silicic epithelium. Earthworm have outer circular inner longitudinal muscles. Yes, this is true. The epidermis is made of single layer of columnar or cuboidal epithelium cells which contain dash glands. So the epidermis is made up of single layer of columnar epithelium cells which contain secretory glands. Digestive system: Identify the parts of elementary canal of earthworm shown in diagram three. So here in diagram three, A is the mouth, B is pharynx, C is esophagus, D is gizzard, E is stomach, F is pre tiflo solar part of the intestine, G is intestinal cecum, H is the lymph gland, I is typho solar part of the intestine, J is intestinal lumen, K is typho sol. The elementary canal runs. between the first to last segment of the body yes true terminal mouth part open into dash which leads into dash 
so it opens into the buccal cavity which leads to the muscular pharynx buccal cavity is present in dash to dash segment buccal cavity is present in 1 to 3rd segment esophagus is present in 5th to 7th segments muscular gizzard is present in dash to dash segment 8 to 9 segments function of muscular gizzard is grinding the soil particles and decaying leaves stomach extend from 9 to 14 segments food of earthworm is decaying leaves and organic matter calciferous glands are present in stomach dash gland neutralize dash present in humans so calciferous glands neutralize humic acid present in humus intestine starts from dash segment and continues till dash segment so intestine starts from 15th segment and continues till the last segment intestinal ck project from dash in the dash segment project from intestine till the 26th segment The characteristic feature of the intestine after 26th segment except the last dash to dash segment is presence of internal median fold of dorsal or ventral wall called dash. The characteristic feature of the intestine after 26th segment except the last 23rd to 25th segments in the presence of internal median fold of the dorsal wall called typhosole. Dash increase the effective area of absorption in the intestine typhosole. Describe the path of the food from mouth to anus. Mouth, buccal cavity, pharynx, esophagus, muscular gizzard, stomach, pre-typhosolar part of intestine, typhosolar part of intestine, and anus. Circulatory and respiratory system. Identify the path of the circular system of earthworm shown in diagram 4. So, here A is the dorsal vessel, B is the lateral hearts, C is lateral esophageal hearts, D is commissural vessel, E is subneural vessel, F is anterior loops, G is ventral vessel, H is lateral esophageal vessel. Ferritima have an open or closed type of blood vascular system. So it has closed type. Blood glands are present in which segments? 4th, 5th and 6th. Blood glands produce blood cells and hemoglobin. Blood cells are non-phagocytic in nature. No, this is false. Earthworm possesses dash pairs of heart, 4 pairs of hearts. Earthworm lacks specialized breathing devices. Yes, this is true. Respiration in earthworms occur through moist body surface. Excretory system. Identify the parts of the nephridial system of earthworm shown in diagram 5. So here, in diagram 5, A is the ducts of pharyngeal nephridia. Then B is the tufts of pharyngeal nephridia. C is integumentary nephridia. D is forest of integumentary nephridia. E is septal nephridia, F is blood glands, G is pharynx, H is buccal cavity, 61. Excretory organs in earthworm is nephridium. The three types of nephridia are septal nephridia, integumentary nephridia and pharyngeal nephridia. Septal nephridia are present on both sides of dash septa of the segment dash to the last that opens into the intestine on both sides of intersegmental septa of the segment 15 to the last that open into the intestine. Integumentary nephridia starts from segment number 3rd and ends at last segment. Per pharyngeal nephridia are present in dash 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 segments are present in 4th, 5th and 6th segments. Nephridia functions. It regulates the volume and composition of the body fluids. The nephridium which delivers the waste through a pore to the dash in the body wall into the dash pour to the surface in the body wall into the digestive tube. Nervous and sensory system. Earthworm have a dorsal paired nerve cord. No, this is false. The nerve cord in the anterior or posterior region of dash and dash segments bifurcates. The nerve cord in the anterior region of the third and the fourth segments bifurcates. It bifurcates encircling the dash and joins the cerebral ganglia ventrally or dorsally to form a dash. It encircling the pharynx and joins the central the the cerebral ganglia dorsally to form a nerve ring. Earthworm have eyes or metidium. No, this is false. Earthworm possess light and touch sensitive organs. Yes, true. Worms have specialized chemoreceptors, taste receptors. Yes, this is true. Since organs in earthworm are located in the posterior part, no, this is false. It is located in the anterior part. Reproductive system. Identify the parts of the reproductive system of the earthworm present in diagram six.
so here in diagram 6 a is the sperma theca b is testis sac with testis c is spermicidal spermaducal funnels d is seminal vesicles e is the ovary f is the ovarian funnel g is the oviduct h is the vasa differentia i is accessory glands j is common prostatic and spermatic duct k is prostate gland earthworm is bisexual yes true test is equal to dash and dash segments 10 to 11 segment vasa differentia run up to the dash segment where they join the dash duct 18th segment where they join the prostatic duct number of accessory glands in earthworm are 4 accessory glands are present in one each one pair each in dash and dash segments 17th and 19th segments a pair of male genital pores are present on the dorsolateral or ventrolateral side of dash segment on the ventrolateral side of the 18th segment dash duct opens into male genital pore common prostate and spermatic duct spermathecal apertures are present from segment dash to dash from segment 6 to 9th function of spermatheca is receive and store spermatozoa during copulation ovaries are attached at the intersegmental septum of the dash and dash segments of the 12th and 13th segments ovarian funnel continue into oviduct oviduct join together and open on the ventral dorsal side as a single median female genital pore on the dash segment so oviduct join together and open on the ventral side as a single median female genital pore on the 14th segment earthworms mate juxtapose singly yes this is true earthworms while mating exchange packet of sperms called spermatophores the dash holds the worm embryo cocoons cocoons are produced by the dash cells of dash produced by the gland cells of the clitellum cocoon of the earthworm contain mature sperm egg cells and nutritive fluid fertilization and development occur within the cocoon fertilization in earthworms is internal or external is external in the cocoon after about three weeks each cocoon each cocoon produces dash to dash baby worms with an average of dash it produces 2 to 20 baby worms with an average of 4. Development of earthworm is through larval stages. No, this is false. Earthworm is proandrous. Yes, this is true. What is proandrous animal? The development of male organs before the appearance of the corresponding female product, thus inhibiting the self fertilization. Earthworms are known as friends of farmers because they make burrows in the soil and make it porous, which helps in respiration and penetration of developing plant roots. The process of increasing fertility of soil by the earthworms is called vermicomposting. Dash are also used as bait in game fishing. Earthworms.